And welcome to the Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. And as always, we're coming to you from the spiritual and soon-to-be financial capital of the world, Jerusalem, Israel. If you like this content, please hit the like button below. And if you've not yet done so, please subscribe to both our podcast and to our YouTube channel. So I want to speak about process. You know, for some of you, namely uh, one of my my oldest child, you're probably going to chuckle because he goes, she's in all there. He goes again, talking about process. Um, I'm a big fan of process. And I think when it comes to your money, um, you need to follow the process. There are no shortcuts. Um, you know, don't get too smart. I see it all the time uh, in various different ways. Recently, I was speaking to somebody who's about to get an inheritance. And... Um, they immediately, um, you know, before they even had the money, the inheritance was already spent. Um, it was brought from America to Israel. Um, there was no paperwork. There was no, it was just, and I was like, slow down. There's a process. First, get the inheritance, get the inheritance into your uh, uh, U.S. bank, your brokerage account, right? You want to have a paper trail, right? You want to know that it came in, that it's from an inheritance. Um, then think about, right? Don't make any rash decisions. Take your time. There's no, right? You didn't have the money a week ago, right? So why are you so, uh, what's the hurry, right? Think it through. What do you want to do with the money, right? And do you have enough money to um, buy all of your children apartments or to help them out um, as they get started um, in their marital lives, right? Or are you sort of short yourself on retirement and you need to keep most some or most of that money for yourself, just to make sure that you're able to uh, not have to move in with your children. Um, these are all things that are important, right? So I told him, well, first you got to get the money. You put the money in your bank, then think about what you want to do. Do you want to invest it? Do you want to invest some of it, right? Let's plan. Let's look at your whole financial situation. Generally in personal finance, right? What is the process? What is the process to create um, wealth, a secure future over the long term. It's, I'm a broken record, right? But what is that process? Well, it's first of all, get out of debt, right? Debt does not add to wealth. It adds to somebody else's wealth, i.e. the person you're borrowing money from or the institution um, that you're borrowing money from, but it doesn't help you generally um, uh, get wealthier. Okay, so once you've got yourself out of debt, you got to first obviously make a budget, right? And allocate your monies to various places, including the next step, right? Saving, right? You're not going to become wealthy. You're not going to have a secure retirement if you never put any money away. It's not just going to like happen like that. Things don't happen like that. You're not going to win the lottery. Okay. I know all of you think you're going to win the lottery. And that is, I think there was a study that I've written about this in the past that like 25% of the people studied figure that their retirement plan was winning the lottery. Is your death plan getting struck by lightning? I mean, it's like, that's it's a great plan. Yeah, I'm gonna win the lottery and that's how I'm gonna retire. I'm, not, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna spend my paycheck to the last cent, right? Every month there's not gonna be anything left, I'm not gonna put anything away because darn it, I'm gonna win the lottery. And you know how I'm gonna die? I'm gonna die because I'm gonna hit, get struck by lightning. It's the same chances, even worse, okay? Your chances I think of winning the lottery are less then they are getting struck by lightning. And maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But it's pretty far-fetched, right? So again, there's a process. You have to save money, save money every month, every year, whatever it is, create a disciplined savings plan and then get that money invested. You can invest in real estate, you can invest in the stock market, just invest. Don't do anything fly-by-night speculative types of investments. Those are not so good. I, I recently spoke with somebody who we were trying to simplify things and consolidate. And the man said to me, yeah, you know, I'm looking to consolidate. I said, okay, so where do you have your money? So he goes, well, I bought a real estate property in Bulgaria. I'm like, what? Bull who? <laughs> where, where is it? How did you get to real estate in Bulgaria? Okay. Sometimes don't chase the dream. Okay. Because the dream can turn into a nightmare. Okay. That's just, why would you invest in Bulgaria? How good an investment could have possibly, it wasn't that you were putting up a shopping center in Bulgaria, okay? You were part, you had a small amount of money relatively and, and, you know, in some kind of deal and you bought a house or something like in Bulgaria. What are you thinking? Okay, that's not the process. That's trying to shortcut the process. 
in order to um, you know be smarter than most people and try and hit a grand slam. But it doesn't have can hit a grand slam if there's nobody on base. Okay, so again, you want to invest, put money away in the stock market. Great. You want to put money in real estate. Great. Keep it simple, right? You don't have to complicate things. Most people who are secure financially, you know, and who did it through investing, didn't speculate, right? They just, you know, they linked themselves out to the market. They might have bought mutual funds, ETFs, maybe blue chip stocks. They rode them. They never sold them forever. You know, 50 years later, um, they still own, you know, whatever it is. I don't want to give any names because I don't want the regulators to get upset with me, God forbid. But, you know, the same thing. They bought real estate and they collected the monthly checks, right? They, you know, either they paid off the mortgage early um, and then they might have bought more real estate or more stocks, whatever it is. That's the way. Continually saving, continually investing. Trust the process, okay? I can't tell you how many people like to skip over different um, points in the process. Because again, we all tend to think that we're really, really smart. And we know better. But it's those people who think that they know better who end up usually falling flat on their face. I can tell you because I see them all the time, okay? Um, I see them both through my job, right? Um, what I do, right? I'm a financial advisor. And I also see them uh, through volunteer work that I do. Where I help try and get people out of debt. You can't imagine how many people I meet who have gotten themselves into huge holes debt-wise because they tried to be cuter or smarter than everybody else. And it, what ended up happening, like I said, they ended up falling on their face and, and incurring huge amounts of debt. You couldn't even imagine how much debt they have, Okay. Trust the process. There's a reason that it's a process that works, okay? It's not It's not complicated, and you don't have to show off to your friends that I invested in, you know, Bitcoin or this or that or property in Bulgaria. You know what? You can buy a property in Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or somewhere else or New York City or Nashville or Chattanooga. I don't care. Just do things by the book, right? Don't get all crazy and like an esoteric and smart, right? Don't be smart, right? Just be regular. Keep it simple, okay? Follow the process. Get yourself out of debt. Get yourself on a budget. Save intelligently and continually save intelligently. And you know what? Financially, you should turn out just fine. And that's the path and the process for you to have a successful and secure financial future. Thanks so much for tuning in. You have been tuning in to the Aaron Katzman Show. We speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. If you like this content, please hit the like button below. And if you've not yet done so, please, please, please subscribe to both the YouTube channel and to the podcast. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll speak to you soon.